Now, the COVID-19 pandemic has delayed numerous studies, but the results of one will be released at, an, at the International AIDS Conference, which is being held virtually this week. Researchers have been working on an injection that prevents you from getting HIV. Joining us now for more on this, Begisisa Center for Health Journalism's Mia Malan. Mia, good evening. How exactly does this injection work, and does it really prevent HIV? It really does, yes. And the results was actually released yesterday at the AIDS conference. And it's an injection that contains an HIV medication called cabotegravir that you take once every two months. And it then dramatically reduces your chances of contracting HIV via sex. And um, how it works is that once there is a high enough level of the medication in an HIV negative, negative person's vaginal or anal tissues, then the drugs are mostly able to shield the immune system from being infected by HIV. How widely available is this prevention pool and is it available yet in South Africa? No, we do have HIV prevention pools in South Africa, which is another form of HIV prevention. It's not an injectable form, and it's a pool that you have to take daily. The uptake in South Africa has not been that great, but that's the case around the world, and it often has to do with people not viewing themselves at risk of infection, and because it's sometimes stigmatized, people feel they get stigmatized and get branded as people who are seeking risky behavior, but this injection might change some of that because it wouldn't require you to take a pull each day. You would only have to go to a clinic every two months. Um, and, and that may change the course of things, but it hasn't been approved by the F Food and Drug Administration um, in the United States yet, where this trial was conducted. And that's partly because of COVID, because the review process um, is prioritized for COVID-related products, of which this injection, of course, is not one. Amir, I'm just curious to know um, how long one would need to take this injection for before knowing whether or not your body has built up that resistance in one's immune system? We have data for the daily HIV prevention pool, which is about five to seven days that it needs to be in your system before it would be effective. For the injection, we don't yet have that data. And part of the reason, because of blood samples that need to be analyzed, that we don't have the data yet is because of COVID-related travel restrictions in the United States, which means that the samples haven't been able to get to the labs quickly enough for those results to be released this week. Is this part of what the world needs in order to uh, stop HIV as a, as a global pandemic? You know, is this the solution? So this is not the only solution. If we have learned something from contraceptive research, it is that if you increase choices for people, if you increase, increase contraceptive choices, research shows us that then the increase and the uptake of contraception increases. And that is the same with HIV. Not, one thing is not going to change the course of this epidemic. Mm -hmm. We're going to need choices. And the more choices we have, the more likely people are to take them up. Mm -hmm. And especially within the context of COVID, we know from data in the Western Cape that people with HIV are two to three times more likely to die of COVID. Mm -hmm. So if we have more options that they can use to prevent themselves from getting infected with HIV, we are also likely to see a lower death rate when it comes to COVID. Absolutely spot on. Mia Malan, she is with the Bekisisa Center for Healthcare Journalism.